everything we own right now is just pumpkin. It's just so much pumpkin. Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. We are doing a fun video today and many days after this. This is another multi-day project. Today, I went to Trader Joe's, one of my favorite places on the entire planet and should be one of your favorite places as well. And if you don't know, Trader Joe's does seasonal foods perfectly. And I've been dying to go to Trader Joe's because they have a bunch of new like fall autumnal harvest themed kind of things. And I wanted it bad. <laughs> I thought that I would, you know, come home, do a haul. And I'm like, you know what? I've done a fair amount of grocery videos in the haul style where I just kind of go over things I get. That's not that exciting to do. The exciting part is the getting a bunch of new stuff and then trying it part. And I didn't want to sit down and do a taste test of everything because I got like savory stuff, I got produce, I got this, I got that. It would be absolutely impossible to like have a little bit in front of me and eat it all and try it all and give my review like all in one setting. That just didn't seem conducive to what I wanted to do here. So what I'm going to do is take you through the next few days with me as I try everything that I've gotten. Starting with this pumpkin spice rooibos herbal blend. I'm not really sure what this is because usually if it's tea, it says tea on it. It says it's a beverage. It doesn't say tea. What does that word rooibos mean? Oh, it's just like a type of plant. So that's just part of the blend, is that rooibos? It's phenomenal, let me say. I've been drinking Bigelow Orange Spice the past few days straight, which I love. But this, mm, it's helping me get in my spirit. But we are also gonna start with a really exciting dinner tonight that I've never tried before. This is spaghetti squash, which I've heard is very easy. I got the spaghetti squash from Trader Joe's. And we are going to top it with this Trader Joe's Just Sauce Turkey Bolognese. I'm sure I've said it before, I'm not really a pasta person. I don't really make meat sauce. I don't really make pasta type dishes, but this is too good not to try. All right, my timer just went off, so we're gonna... Oh, and it looks good too. That's just olive oil, Trader Joe's lemon pepper, and Trader Joe's vegan chicken salt. So what we're gonna do is take a fork and scrape some of that squash out, throw it into the saute pan with the bolognese. Amazing, amazing. the final product of the spaghetti squash with the turkey bolognese on top and I topped it with a little bit of pesto. Mmm. Ooh, that pesto's good. That's good. Mm hmm I like it. Wow. I'm definitely get that turkey bolognese again. That's, that's a really good flavor. Oh, super easy. I'm just heating it up. But I think I'd rather learn how to make it myself. Is it all Trader Joe's products? Not the pesto, just the spaghetti squash and the turkey bolognese. Mm. So, mister, I'm afraid of vegetables. What do you think? I'm good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Even though you're making your happy face? <laughs> so, can I make this again? Yes. Yes, add to the list. Greg approved. Good morning. It is very early and I'm having my breakfast. And I'm filming because the breakfast I'm having this morning is... The protein maple... Muffin. I 
usually have protein pancakes for breakfast. I know Trader Joe's has a protein pancake mix, which I've tried, but they didn't have like a seasonal flavor. So I got this to try it. I've always seen the Kodiak versions of these microwave muffins, and I've never tried them. Go. All you would do is add water and microwave for a minute, and then you get this kind of like spongy situation. Pretty good. It's definitely not unpleasant, but I don't really sense a whole lot of maple. So I am going to put in some trusty pumpkin spice seasoning to kind of up the full factor. See how we do. They're just a little bland, I feel like. Yeah, honestly, they're just a little bland. I don't know. I, I wouldn't buy it again. Pure Joe's make pumpkin protein pancakes. I know you make pumpkin pancakes and I know you make protein pancakes. Put them together. That's all I'm saying. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another segment of Hashtag Hats Inside 2020. Oh God. To be fair, he totally tricked me into this. I thought he was introing a food. New hat, US Open. Shout out to Bryce. The steroid dude that he is for uh, winning it. All right, Trader Joe's time, pumpkin spice coffee. We're gonna put the coffee right into the coffee pot. Like <gasps> that. Revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> While Greg is demoing the coffee for us, I know it's early, but I'm enjoying a nice Trader Joe's sparkling spring water, natural raspberry lime flavor. Greg and I have been on a bit of a uh, sparkling water seltzer kick. Would you agree, Greg? Yes. Um, we go yes. <laughs> we go through them pretty quick. I had to try Trader Joe's. We recently tried Wegmans, and that was a big hit. Um, this is good. This is really good. This is a really good flavor. The right amount of sweetness. The only thing is, is that it only comes in a six pack. Come on, like let's get a cardboard 12 pack going. And it's only this one and the regular lime. They need more flavors. They have some other seltzers, like this is sparkling water, but they have some seltzers like lemon ginger and I think like a blood orange one, but they're like a four pack, it's nothing. So, would recommend, but Trader Joe's you gotta get on expanding your line here. I, it is what it is. How is it? Yeah? Yeah. Can I try? No. What do you mean, no? No. <laughs> Your decision is vetoed. I'm trying. You notice. Ooh, that is good. I can't wait to have a cup of my own with some, like, milk and sweetener. Just as I expected. Mm. This pumpkin spice coffee is delicious. Drinking it black, the flavor was very much like, I'm here, but even with diluting it with almond milk. I mean, to be fair, I also did add pumpkin spice skinny syrup in it, which isn't from Trader Joe's. I picked that up at uh, Marshall's. That concoction is just perfect. This coffee tastes a lot richer than it really is. Like this feels a lot like heavier than it actually is. And I'm looking at the window right now and oh my God, we have some leaves changing. I'm gonna miss this view so much. Look, we got some orange peeking in here. It's really fall. It's really fall. All right, giving you guys a little, a little behind the scenes here. Right now I'm putting to work the organic pumpkin from Trader Joe's. Love that packaging. There we go. Right now I'm making some pumpkin muffins and I'm really excited because I think I'm going to do like a cream cheese frosting on some and I also have the cinnamon bun spread I got from Trader Joe's so I might put that on top of others so they're going to be more like cupcakes. We are actually going to like a housewarming later this evening and I hope to get some footage of people trying it then 
because right now I'm just like pre-making them, so. Greg is also about to try my cupcakes because I messed up icing one. So he gets a sneak peek. They're for tonight, but uh, you know. I'm special. <laughs> Pakistani and Israeli conflict muffins. <laughs> Israeli Palestinian conflict muffins. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. You like the icing? Mm-hmm. Approved? Mm, I like pumpkin. Well, I used the Trader Joe's organic pumpkin, canned pumpkin, mm -hmm. in the batter, and then I just realized I used the Trader Joe's cream cheese on the icing. Mm. <laughs> you like them? Mm -hmm. They yummy? Mm -hmm. Should I bring them tonight? No, leave them all for me. I came in. I'm eating one of my muffins. Oh my god. Mm, I don't know whether I'm raving about the canned pumpkin right now or just my skills because damn, damn. Maybe I should post these on my website. Could be fun. Please excuse my complete dishevelness, but we just got back from Bike for a little while ago. Hang out having a post-workout snack. The everything but the big old nut duo, almonds and cashews. These are so good. I mean, to be expected, everything that they do with their everything but the bagel uh, flavoring on it is delicious. They have everything but the bagel Greek yogurt dip and they have uh, everything but the bagel um, smoked salmon. But the reason why I wanted to give special attention to these almonds and cashews is that I don't typically like cashews. I'm not a cashew fan, but these, all day long, all day long. The only thing that sucks about nuts is that like, fat content's so high, that the serving size is like nothing. I went, I had like one or two out of the bag and I was like, oh no, this is gonna be danger city. So I like set aside a portion. Mm. I know these aren't seasonal, but mm, nuts, nutty flavor profiles. It's a very fall thing, I feel like. I'm honestly, I'm honestly right about to eat my breakfast, but this has just been calling me for far too long and I had to try it now. I'm having a pre-breakfast snack. Um, this is the Trader Joe's, obviously, organic pumpkin spice granola bar. Mm -hmm. My mom one time got the coconut one, which is just like a year round, and it was so good. Freaking off a little piece. I don't want to spoil my appetite, but okay. Okay. That's good. The pumpkin spice in the granola, like the actual flavoring is light. It's like roasty. It's not fake sugary. And it has pumpkin seeds on the top. Here we go. You can see that. It's like a pretty thick layer of chocolate on the top. Ooh, that is really good. See, what I love about the Trader Joe's stuff is that, like, there's just always some element of creativity to their snacks. Highly recommend. I'm gonna put this back in the snack drawer before I eat the whole bag. The reason why I feel like Trader Joe's is so popular is because they have pretty fresh or, like, nutrient-dense appearing foods. Just kind of arranged in non-traditional ways. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, a classic Trader Joe's snack that people love. I don't know, I just have, I have so many go-tos. Not a lot of grocery stores would make their own <laughs> pumpkin spice granola bark. Like I know you can get, pretty sure you can get ShopRite brand granola, but that's a level of effort at a price point that's actually not bad. I do know that Trader Joe's as a whole managed to keep, manages to keep prices down for what seems like a decent amount of effort they put forward. They could afford to charge more. But anyway, this is a very long-winded way of saying that creative ideas that they come out with. I'm not necessarily going to buy pumpkin spice granola bark every year from now on, but I've never even thought of that before. Maybe next year I'll try to make it myself. There's a lot of Trader Joe's things that give me inspiration that I later try to attempt myself. Because they just deliver in a package that seems so like attainable. They're like, yeah, I can make that. Like the turkey bolognese we had at the beginning of this video. It was so good. 
and it caught my eye and I was like, that is a great idea. It's a great idea, but it's a simply executed idea and I'm pretty sure I could do it myself and I am going to do it myself and I will let you know the outcome of that. Anyway, tonight we will be making, I'm gonna make some turkey meatloaf and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be having leftover spaghetti squash, but I also want to cook up an acorn squash that I got when we were at Trader Joe's. So um, stay tuned for the review on that. Got Greg's natural habitat. Wait, no, we haven't gotten these ones on, on camera yet. So Greg just had me a pre-Jojo with a pumpkin spice baton. How was it? Delicious. And what did you just say to me? Everything we own right now is just pumpkin. I'm sorry. Like it's all just pumpkin. So how would you rate the baton? Fine. <laughs> Fine? Yeah. Would you buy them again? It's just so much pumpkin. Pumpkin spice batons, I had one. They're good, trust me. Wait, no, sir, please. <laughs> I, I just need to f hear your feelings about pumpkin JoJo's. I I know this is not your first time having them. They're delicious. You, you've had them before. They're great. Do you remember the first time you had them? Do you remember what your reaction was? Mm -hmm. You were like blown away. Oh, really? Does that feeling still stand? Yes. <laughs> Do you like pumpkin spice? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to intro what we will be trying next. And it's this beautiful acorn squash. So I'm going to actually cook this in the air fryer. I'm waiting on it a little bit because I have the turkey meatloaf that we're having with it in the oven and I'm trying to time it all correctly. I'm also going to be roasting the seeds, which I've been doing lately when I made uh, spaghetti squash. I roasted the seeds and I believe I did that in everything but the elote seasoning. And right now I'm trying to think if I want to make these like nutmeggy, clovey very fall or if I want to use Old Bay. Good old Old Bay. Easter egg. This is where we're moving. Should I do half and half? Nutty. Half Old Bay. Could be good. I'm trying to <laughs> cook these acorn squash halves but they don't exactly fit in my air fryer basket. They're like just peeking out. Um, are we gonna try it anyway? Yeah. I can't believe this is <laughs> effing Trader Joe's. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Another Trader Joe's dinner? <laughs> Surprise, this isn't actually pumpkin and you're just lying. <laughs> As we know, Greg and vegetables is a complicated relationship. And how do you feel? I feel fine. <laughs> do you like it? It's fun. How does it compare to other vegetables? <laughs> Good? Bad? Higher on the totem pole. Higher on the tone pole. That's high praise. Okay. Yeah. That's Usually that's not like a, um, what is it? What's corn? <laughs> <laughs> Roasted seed review. If you recall correctly, these are the old bay season. And these are the sweet nutmeg cinnamon season. And I feel like I should have put pretzel salt on them too. That's me. I put pretzel salt and everything. Uh, anyway, let's see. Old Bay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Nutmeg. Not bad. Definitely not as good as the Old Bay. It's such a fall snack. I would put these in granola, like in a granola trail mix. Just typically what I do when I have like dry goods like this, but these are so good on their own. I don't think I will do that. I like these better than the spaghetti squash seeds. I, I've been eating all of the pumpkin JoJo's and you've been eating all the Hold the Cones, and that's why you always complain to me. You're like, Greg, why did you even leave me any pumpkin JoJo's? <laughs> now they've gone there, and she's there's where they have eight in there. I had one, there's two left. <laughs> What, what is this, like a hard shell, Caroline? I guess. Like a hard pumpkin shell? And then it's filled with pumpkin ice cream. And then waffle cone. I don't know where the ginger comes in. Is it, the, is it mixed with the pumpkin flavoring? Or is it separate? Mm. 
No, I think the ginger's in the waffle cone. Mmm. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go on a run, so I thought a little handful of energy would be good. These are the maple almonds. I've had Trader Joe's dry roasted flavored almonds before. They look like sesame ones that are good. They have Thai chili ones. They have, I think they have like mesquite smoked, whatever. These are definitely seasonal if you can't tell by the packaging. And they're uh, they're sticky, so they're definitely coated. Mm. Greg's ready. These are good. They're sweet, but not too sweet. They're just like slightly candied. Woody again. We just got done with our run and I am hungry again because we were pretty far today. My knees really hurt pretty badly, honestly. I don't know what was up with that. I'm actually kind of bummed. I wanted to have a uh, Trader Joe's cinnamon bun spread. Has, um ice on the cupcakes I made, but I haven't like given it in its own moment per se. I'm just gonna go right ahead and dunk it in my yogurt because I don't know, I just feel like it'll be good. Oh, it smells so good. Can I have your last one? Mm hmm What flavor is yours? Toasted marshmallow. This is out of control. You need to try this on toast or something. It's so sweet that like when you smell it, it makes you salivate. Those are good on your muffins or cupcakes. Right? Yeah, I just put a little in my yogurt. It's actually pretty, pretty delicious. But now, I'm gonna take it one step further. I got the Trader Joe's pumpkin tortilla chips. This is something I saw and I was like, okay, they've gone too far. But then I tried them. They're kind of perfect. They're like kind of a fire roasted pumpkin cracker kind of feel, but if it was like a cracker thin. Mm. I'm trying to think what kind of salsa would be good with this. Crafted it with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Yeah, see, that's the thing. They're kind of sweet, so I don't really know. Which is why I'm pairing it with my yogurt. Did I interrupt the video for it It's okay, I'm finishing up. So I can watch it. Yeah, go ahead. Greg, you gotta try these. These are really good. Not bad. Pretty good, right? Yes, good morning. We're coming to an end here. One of the last things we're gonna have is the Trader Joe's pumpkin butter. I'm gonna put it on my protein pancakes this morning. I'm really excited. I've had this before in the past. I remember it being delicious. So um, I'm hopeful. Okay, they're prepared. Got a little bit of syrup on them as, long, as well as the pumpkin butter. And of course, as always, topped it with pretzel salt. That's been my thing lately. I almost, I could do a whole video on pretzel salt. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's exactly as I remember and it's great. Um, I feel like pumpkin can be interpreted in two ways. Either they're like a very sweet pumpkin pie, cinnamon sugar kind of vibe, or like a very spiced, roasted, almost squash kind of feel. And this is definitely like the sweet side. It's not as sweet as the you know what actually i think it's pretty on par for sweetness with the cinnamon bun spread but obviously just like a different flavor profile this is good i'm trying to think what else this would be good with is it being good is it like a fruit dip i am ending this very fragmented video by uh, snacking on some cherry joe's wasabi seaweed snack it's not seasonal but trader joe's has a weird snack so i'm into it 
Um, I used to actually hate these. I don't know why, but my taste buds change. No, I really like them. I don't think I would like them if they weren't wasabi, and I love wasabi. It's a little weird. There's no way to reseal it and get stale. So I just like to fold them up into little squares and pop them in my mouth. These are good if you just need like saltiness, like you just need some salt. And this whole package is two servings and it's 30 calories per package. I mean 30 calories per serving, so 70 calories per package. This is a really good high volume snack. Big fan of these. So this is the end. I have no idea what this video is going to look like. I know it was very thrown together. It wasn't very formatted. I didn't do like a sit down taste test. And that's exactly what I envisioned. It's like kind of a scrapbook of tastings. Definitely my first time doing a video like this. It might turn out to be a hot mess. I know we had some good moments in there. We'll see how it turns out. But I'm excited to put all this together. Those are uh, my thoughts and Greg's thoughts on some of the seasonal fall Trader Joe's items. I didn't cover all of them. There's so many more. And actually where we are moving to, I'm going to be that much closer to a Trader Joe's. So I'm sure I will go back for more. If you have a favorite fall Trader Joe's snack, please let me know so I can go try it before they are out. If you have a favorite seasonal holiday Trader Joe's snack, let me know now so I can start making a list because as soon as the peppermint hits the shelves, I am there. So anyway, thank you for watching this hot mess of a video. I hope you got some insight on some things that you gotta put on your Trader Joe's, the Trader Joe's list for your next trip. As always, please, 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 please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I have some fun stuff coming. As you can see, I have a different background right now. You should go check out the moving vlog that should be out shortly after this one to explain uh, the reasoning for that and get a little more insight on that. Go follow me on Instagram, health by CF, and at healthbycf.com. You can go check me out for nutrition, strength, training, whatever. And I am now um, available for in-person personal training, which you will hear more about in the moving blog, of course. So thank you for joining this Hot Mess Express. And I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.